Mmm, they're delicious. Certified Holistic Nutritional Consultant and today I'm going to show you how to make vegan blueberry muffins uh, one of my favorites so I started off by melting a third cup of coconut oil so I'm just going to pour that in the mixer here and then set that out of the way uh, and then um, to that bowl I'm going to add some almond milk I like to use the unsweetened original and about a cup we may add a little bit more if the recipe seems a little dry but it just kind of depends on the weather as well and where are you at where you were at in the world so one cup. And then we're gonna add three tablespoons of lemon juice. So I've already juiced my lemons. I used two lemons to juice. Uh, just make sure you don't get the seeds in the juice and we'll toss that in. And then we're gonna add our maple syrup. It's a delicious natural sweetener. And we're gonna use half a cup. So I have a quarter cup here. So just gonna do two of those. and our vanilla extract. And I'm just gonna use the cap, so it's a, about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half. And we will mix that up on the stir. And then we're gonna add our flour. Uh, so I have two different types of flour here. This one is almond and coconut. And for the almond, I'm going to use uh, about two cups. of that and then the coconut flour as well I like to use a, a mixture of flowers because of the texture so I'm gonna do two-thirds of a cup of coconut flour ingredients is our baking powder and baking soda so I have a tablespoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda uh, I know it seems like a lot of baking powder but there's no eggs in this recipe because it's vegan uh, so that's why there's more baking powder in it to help them rise like that and also just a splash of salt and then we'll mix that up So that's well mixed. So you don't want to use your mixer when you put the blueberries in because it'll crush them and then you'll just end up with blue muffins, which is fine if that's what you're going for. Um, but I want the blueberries to be whole in this recipe. So I'm just going to fold them in gently with um, my spatula. Uh, so we have a cup of blueberries um, that I've already pre-washed. 
I'm just going to toss those into the bowl and then just gently mix them in to the batter. Now I'm using fresh blueberries. You can use frozen. Um, I think that the frozen might add a little bit more moisture to your, your muffins, but just kind of your preference. You might need a little bit more flour. Perfect. Just have those mixed in. And then uh, I got these uh, cute little liners from HomeSense. They got all leaves on them, so they're perfect for this time of year. And these ones say gather together. So if you're taking these to an event, those would be perfect. But you can use whatever liners you want. Um, parchment paper is also a really good one because they don't stick to the muffin. Uh, and then you just want to divide the batter between your muffin liners. So this recipe should make 12 muffins. I just like to spoon a little bit in all of them first and then go back and even them out. preheated to 350 um, so you bake these for about 20 minutes and then you can also stick a toothpick in the middle to see if they're done um, so if it comes out clean then they'll be finished and we'll take a look at them in 20 minutes so the muffins are out of the oven I've let them cool you want to cool them on a wire rack actually and uh, they look amazing and adorable so I'm gonna try one mmm they're delicious Hope you enjoy them too. And then we're going to add our maple syrup. <laughs> I can see that again. <laughs> syrup! <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? I think so. <laughs> Maybe I'll have an outtakes video. <laughs> 